Happy St. Patrick's Day. All of my friends around the world who are being good by their neighbors and trying to stay out of harm's way until we get this crisis resolved. I know there's a lot of the disappointment, things that we can't do for a while, but I think of things that we can do and having a little auto harp gathering on the internet, everybody sharing their tunes in whatever format or platform works for them. I just have this uh, Apple computer that I can try to record on and post it on Facebook, but I know there's lots of better ways of doing it. Um, I thought I would share a particular tuning that I really have come to fall in love with. Um, this harp is, is a C diatonic with just a couple of strings thrown in to give me a B flat chord so I can use that if I want. Um, but normally when you have a, a diatonic <clears throat> and you get into this part of the harp here and you come to your first C here, you would expect that the next string following it would also be C. You'd be doubling that, and then you get D. Two Ds in a row, two E's in a row. Um, that's where you get that fullness of the diatonic sounds by doubling up those strings. But I, I doubled them, at, but in a kind of a different fashion. I kind of came to the C, and by using a thicker gauge string, I got that G note, which matches the G that preceded it. So it's paired, but it's paired with a note that's eight notes further back. Um, and to make your C chord, you have C, E, G. And on a regular auto harp, you'd have C, E, G, C, E, G, C, E, G, top and out a bit of C at the top. It just keeps ascending, and it's always predictable. You always know where that C, where the E, where the G, and so on are going to come. But with this tuning, I'll get up to the E next. And then when I come to the next G, The G ascends, it goes up like normal, but it's preceded by a C, which is paired with the C down here. So all I'm doing is splitting these pairs and putting them in different places. They're still on the heart, but they're just not where you expect them to be. And they're they're joined together at the hip with the, the note that is their, their fifth um, kin. So you get E up here, you get another C, G. And then at the top, it starts becoming uh, pentatonic. Two E's, two G's, and then two C's. So if you listen to that C chord, notes open on that chord but they're not always where you think they're going to be. Now if you just play like you normally would play and, and play hard and fast you wouldn't notice those nuances. It would all just sound like a regular C chord and you could have someone playing a C diatonic or a C chromatic next to you and you'd be blending with them and you probably wouldn't notice. Um, so you have to kind of be a little more delicate, I guess, when you play this to take advantage of that tuning. Here's a song by Tommy Sands. Irish peace activist from Northern Ireland. It's called There Were Roses.
tell you what two friends one time they were both good friends of mine. Oh, Allendale and Ada lived just across the bay. Was a great man for the music, the dancing, and the feel. Valley came from South Otomar to approach your palace way. Those who give 
the orders, they're not the ones to die. It's death.